Welcome to my curls. Y'all, I want to talk about the future of my YouTube channel in 2020. I have some really great things up my sleeve, some improvements that I have made that I hope you're seeing in my video today, and a really funny story that I'm going to share with you at the end of this video. So stay with me because this is the future of my YouTube channel. I launched my channel in March of 2019, so it is not even a year old. It's the beginning of 2020, and there are some things that I want to do on my YouTube channel. There are some upgrades and some changes that I want to make, and I want to discuss them with you because you all are watching my videos. First of all, you all know I'm a planner. It is so exciting at the beginning of the new year to get my day planner. I love to sit down, y'all, and just plan things, everything. And I record my YouTube videos a little bit in advance, or I try to at least be a week out. And so I have so many new video ideas. I always have a notebook with me. I am constantly jotting down video ideas and topics or notes and things I need to remember to say. So I really think that you're gonna like some of the content that I have planned for you in 2020. And now that it's 2020 and I'm almost a year into my channel, there are some changes that I wanna make. I have recently done some upgrades to my equipment. I got lots of comments from you all about how you could not hear me. My audio quality was not great and I wasn't loud. You just couldn't hear me. So I got a microphone. I got this Rode Video Micro and it's just a little microphone that plugs into my iPhone because that is what I use to record all of my videos. So I hope that you all can hear me better. I have gotten comments from you all letting me know that the volume and the quality of the audio is better. So done. Check that off the list. Y'all, I'm not a camera person. It is so daunting to me to think about all of the settings and everything you have to know to use a camera. Even though cameras look so small and innocent, they really, to me, are very complicated. And... I use my iPhone. I love being able to just hit boop, record, and there I am. So up until today, I was recording all of my videos on my iPhone 7 Plus. There was nothing wrong with my phone. It worked great. I decided to upgrade my phone so that I had an even better camera. And so this video that you're seeing today is the very first one recorded with my new iPhone 11 Pro. How do I look? I can tell just by looking at the screen that the quality is so much better than my original iPhone 7. And the audio... Oh. See, now you all can hear the dogs barking because I'm using a microphone. Before, you really couldn't hear them. Now, you're going to hear everything. The next thing I did was get some tripods. Randy actually got me this little tabletop tripod because I was recording a lot of stuff having to prop my phone up on books or boxes and just kind of a makeshift way to get it in front of me, which was fine. It was kind of a hassle. And so he got me this little tabletop tripod, which is awesome. And I can, I'm actually using my phone clip right now on my big tripod, which is in front of me. And he got me that as well. So I am set up. And the new studio lights that I'm using right now. My mother and father-in-law got me the studio lights as a Christmas gift. I think these lights have made a tremendous difference to the quality of my videos. And now, coupled with my new iPhone 11 Pro, I'm hoping that you all can see a dramatic improvement to my video quality. Do my videos look better? Can you hear me better? Is the lighting better? Let me know. Comment below and let me know if all of the upgrades I have made are visible to you. I would love to know. So something new I want to do on my channel is add some graphics to my videos. And I've been working on getting better with my editing and using some graphics. Sometimes I don't need graphics in all of my videos. I don't want to be that fancy smancy person, but there are times when I want some graphics. So you all are going to see the use of just, just some new graphics in my videos. 
So I started this YouTube channel, like I said, about a year ago, I decided to create a brand around myself. And the year has gone really well, I have to say. I launched my YouTube channel, I've grown my Instagram account, and I'm starting to use that more regularly. And if you all follow me on social media, you will get to see a lot more behind the scenes, a lot more of me just being me, like everyday stuff I love to share on Instagram. What you see on YouTube is definitely more planned out because I have to edit it and there's time and planning and a lot that goes into a YouTube video. But on social media, I can snap a pic and talk to you all. It's great. But I started this YouTube channel because I wanted to document the process of going gray. My transition from colored dark hair to gray hair. You all know I'm 48 and because I have curly hair, I just felt like I was very unique. I couldn't find anybody like me on YouTube and that's really why I started my YouTube channel. I decided to create a brand called Welcome to My Curls and so here I am almost one year later. Then I launched my website, welcometomycurls.com, and I'm selling all of my super cute gray hair t-shirts. And y'all, I should have had one on for this video. Didn't think about it. <laughs> but something I want to know from you, I considered offering coffee mugs on the website. With the sayings that are on the t-shirts, you can get them in these super cute campfire mugs. And I, I actually had some samples printed for me but it became a shipping issue. Like if somebody bought a shirt and a mug, it was gonna have to go in a box instead of in a poly bag. Shipping was gonna be more expensive. It just kinda got complicated, so I, I put the brakes on the coffee mugs. But would you all like coffee mugs? Tell me below, is a coffee mug that matches some of the sayings on our t-shirts something that you all would be interested in? Because I love a cute coffee mug. You all know I have coffee every single morning with my honey and my cream in it. And y'all, nothing makes me happier than opening. I have a whole cabinet in the kitchen that is full of my coffee mugs. And so I open my cabinet and I have all of these super cute mugs and I pick out the mug that just speaks to the day or speaks to what I'm feeling that morning and I love my coffee mugs and so if you all feel the same and coffee mugs are something that you all would like for me to offer let me know because that is still on the possibility list so I've been thinking a lot about how I want to improve my channel things that I might want to do changes I might want to make and there are some new content ideas that I think you all are going to enjoy like I said I've been keeping a list of content ideas and you all are going to see some new topics for me on my channel but i would love to know from you what you would like to see so comment below and let me know are there any topics that you would like me to cover are there any videos that i'm doing that you don't like i did get a comment from june who told me that she didn't really want to see the animal videos she liked the girly stuff so june i hear you note taken but I would love to know from you all, what would you like to see from me? I get requests from you all all the time to do videos on different topics. Um, I've been asked to do a video about my skincare routine, about my workout routine and my diet, and I've even been asked to do a video about how I decorate my home. My hair, like you all wanna know more about my curly hair. Lots of women have asked for me to talk about my actual haircut. I will tell you, I have a video coming up where I'm going to interview Betsy, my hairstylist, and she's going to tell you all how to cut my hair. Just let me know. What do you all want to see from me? So, of course, I watch other YouTube channels, and I mainly watch channels where the topic is YouTube, how to improve your YouTube channel. And I have started watching a channel called The Content Bug. She quoted a quote that someone gave to her. And y'all, it rang a bell. It has been stuck in my head. The minute she said it, I hit pause on her video. And I got out my journal, my notebook, and I wrote it down. Different is better than better. I love a quote. That quote is it. 
different is better than better. I have been trying to figure out how to better my channel. I want to better the video and audio quality on my channel, but as far as my content, I am pretty happy with just being me. I feel like I'm very unique on YouTube because of my curly hair and now my gray hair. That's very hard to find on YouTube, or at least it was for me when I was looking for somebody as a role model when I was deciding to go gray. And a lot of you all are telling me the same thing, that I'm very unique. And so I want to be true to myself. The fact that different is better than better is is something that I love. I love being different. I love being unique. And I'm going to just kind of take that quote and put it away in my memory bank, or I'm going to put it somewhere here in my office. I think that is going to be my new motto for 2020 and let it apply to my YouTube channel and everything about my Welcome to My Curls brand. Different is better than better. So thank you to the content bug. Those are my thoughts, y'all, on my YouTube channel for 2020. New things you're gonna see from me, new video ideas, better video quality, better audio quality, and I'm going to try to be so much more efficient and plan ahead, and I have some great things in store for you all. So I hope you're enjoying my channel. I love connecting with you all. I have had a ball, truly figuring out this channel, getting to know you all and connect with you all, and just everything about the creation of my brand. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you all so much for your support. So I want to hear from you all. Guys, please, please, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts, your ideas, your suggestions, your content ideas, what you want to see from me, what you don't want to see from me. And remember to let me know if you can tell the difference in my audio quality and my video quality. Now here is my funny story. I am all set up. Up in my office, I've got my new studio light set up. I took a shower. I fixed my hair to do this video. I have recorded this video three times. The first time, the dogs kept barking. Maxie and Pollux are losing their minds downstairs because there is a loose dog in our neighborhood. So every time the dog goes by our house, they bark their heads off and I have gotten so frustrated that I just had to stop the video and go downstairs and regroup. Take number two, I came upstairs, I turned my lights back on and I'm ready to go and I record the whole video. Done. Turn the lights off, get up, I'm so proud of myself and I go to do the playback on my phone and the fancy microphone that I just told you all about, apparently when I got up because of the dogs, my foot hit the tripod and the microphone fell down and I didn't notice it, but you could not hear a single thing that I said in take number two. The microphone was pointing to the ground and it just picked up this huge echo and the audio was trash. You could not hear me. So now, this is take number three. <laughs> I am worn out at this point because, let's see, I've been recording for 22 minutes. This is a 22 minute video and I have recorded this three times. So I am done, y'all. I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna sit on the couch with my doggies and just take a break. So I will see you all later.